All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And today's subject matter is on a video by Lisa Cabrera. And it says the sheets are cold in America. And I had a chance to catch a few spots in the video. But the premise of this video is talking about how people in America are not having sex the way they used to. And because of that, the population is decreasing. And this is a bad thing for America because how can you call yourself a great country and a superpower where the people in your own country, or should I say when the people in your country don't even want to have sex or even be bothered with each other anymore. All right. This video was is very funny and uh, informative at the same time. So we're going to let Sister Lisa talk about some of this stuff. We'll get some scripture and then Lord willing, we'll close it out. There's an article that came out in the Washington Post and it's saying a share of Americans are not even having sex. And it has reached a record high. Well, you sure can't reproduce unless you are having some sex. Woo! You can blame young people for this dry spell data shows. More than ever, Americans aren't having sex. Percentage of Americans reporting no sex, monthly sex, or sex weekly, or more in the past year. Damn, no wonder why all these mass shootings are going on. <laughs> and you're seeing more of them damn stories about these guys that can't get girlfriends and then they <laughs> committing suicide or shooting up everything. The share of U.S. adults reporting no sex in the past year reached an all-time high in 2018, underscoring a three-decade trend line marked by an aging population and higher numbers of unattached people. But among the 23% of adults, or nearly one in four, who spent the year in a celebrate state, a much larger than expected number of them were 20-something men, according to the latest data from the General Social Survey. Experts now you hear that? The main group of men or people in America, the demographic in America that are not having sex are young men in their 20s. <laughs> and that's messed up because when you were in your 20s, I know when I was in my 20s, I had a whole lot of vigor. I was very vibrant at 20 years old. I mean, the Lord has blessed me, you know, as I've aged over the years to still be able to maintain a good majority of it. All right. But I've talked to a lot of young men. And the reason why they say they don't deal with a lot of females now the way they used to is uh, or they don't have sex like they like they want to is because. That their their main reason is because these women are out of order. All right. On top of that, it takes too many uh, resources to uh, maintain that relationship. Okay, that's why the whole MGTOW movement is so big. Not only just here in America, but around the world. The MGTOW movement is huge. And if any of you all have never heard of it, it's uh, when you see it. It'll be MGTOW, and it stands for men going their own way. All right, basically, some of them don't deal with females, or some people, some of them just deal with females accordingly. They just bump them and dump them, or they'll just pay a prostitute, get that nut off, and just be done with it. All right, but the main gripe about why they not having sex the way they used to is because a lot of these women are out of order. Okay.
And we're going to go to, I believe that's, I think it's 2 Timothy. Second Timothy three and one. OK, and it says this. Know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, which are the times that we are in. It says for men shall be lovers of their own selves. All right. And it don't get simple. All right. When it says men, it means all of mankind, men and women. But in this case, as far as pertains to the young men not having sex, this pertains to the women. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. All right. These bitches are scandalous. Excuse my Portuguese, but it, the truth is the truth, man. These bitches are scandalous. All right. You already got that uh, 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 that devil sketile uh, Cardi B going on social media and professing in front of the whole world okay because she has such a rough life that justified her drugging men and robbing them that that is wicked as hell man that's lacking all type of natural affection towards your fellow uh uh br a brother man okay especially since she's an israelite She's wicked as hell, but she's still an Israelite. And let's continue. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the power. All right? So... What this is telling you in Timothy is that in the last days, hey amen, these bitches would be out of order. Completely out of order. It is not to say that the men aren't too. All right. For you women that are about to get all bent out of shape when you listen to this. But I'm getting on the women right now. They're completely out of order. And this is a huge reason why a lot of these young guys... And even some of these middle-aged and older guys are not dealing with females like that. They don't even want to take the chance of, of, of nothing in the bitch. Or half the time, they just don't want the headache. They don't want the mouth. They don't want the, the, the pride. Well, the pride, the pride, the bolsters, the proud, high-minded, heady. Lovers of themselves, narcissistic. Hey, that's a huge reason why guys ain't dealing with these bitches anymore, man. It's a headache. It is a complete headache. Because these days you got uh, uh, relationships where the women think that they're equal with men or they're better with men. And that's completely out of order. Like the scripture says, and the foundations of the earth are, are out of course. But I'm gonna get another one where it's, uh, where it talks about that. What was that first? Uh, first Corinthians eleven. Is it three or thirteen? Yes, yeah, three. First Corinthians eleventh chapter and the third verse, and it says, "But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach." And the head of the woman is the man. It didn't say the head of the man is the woman. It said the head of the woman is the man. Meaning that the man is above the woman. It's been like that ever since the time of Adam and Eve. All right. Where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai told Eve, hey, uh, the man is going to uh, have rule over you and your desire shall be toward him. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So that's another huge reason 
why a man just ain't putting up with these bitches anymore, man. Because you a headache. And there can't no man be in a relationship with a bitch that's trying to be a man. All right? That, that, that's a complete vexation of spirit. Let's get back into this uh, story for a little bit. Then we want to close it out. ...to study American bedroom habits said there are a number of factors driving the great American sex drought. <laughs> Age is one of them. The 60 and older demographic climbed from 18% of the population in 1996 to 26% in 2018, according to the survey. The share reporting no sex has consistently hovered around 50%. And because that age group is growing relative to everyone else, it has been, it has the net effect of reducing the overall population likelihood of having sex. But changes to the other end of the age spectrum may be playing an even bigger role the portion of Americans 18 to 29 reporting no sex in the past year more than doubled between 2008 and 2018 to 23%. So basically what she just said is that the majority of the people right now that are not having sex in the older age group are the baby boomers. Okay, all these people that are like 60 or 65 and up. All right, this is one of the biggest uh, uh, groups of people here in the United States. Your baby boomers. Okay, and they're not having sex like they used to. All right, when a chick's 60 years old, she can't make any more children. Granted, a guy can but he doesn't have that same strength and vigor that he used to when he was young. So he they they not too worried about having sex and popping out any children. All right, that's their last concern. So they're not really having sex. And so now she's saying that not only do you have these older people that are growing populace that can't have sex, now you have all these young men out here that do have that life, that do have that vigor, they're at the peak of their youth, the time where they're supposed to be just getting it in, but they're not getting it in. Let's continue. So you can see where it was in 89, 90, and all the way up to 10 year span. A professor of psychology at the San Diego State University and Arthur of I, Jen, why today's super connected kids are growing up less rebellious and more tolerant, less happy, and completely unprepared for adulthood. Said in an interview that growing sexless, sexlessness among America's 20 something is primarily attributable to partnering up later in life. You know, y'all, I know they didn't throw this in, but drugs play a huge role. You know, I'm serious. All right. Which is true. Okay. Drugs do have a huge part to deal with it. But uh, as she said before, these 20 year olds, just they just not feeling it. Okay. Growing up in a world that that's, you know, they they just really don't see the importance of sex. All right, because what we have here in America, we're here in a point in America where I've stated in previous videos that bad Uncle Esau, who is the so-called white man, okay, a lot of them are waking up to the fact that there is no hope for America. They, they are finding out that jobs are not coming back. 
that America will never be this great place that their parents and their grandparents and their great grandparents had the chance to thrive in. And because of that, they've lost hope. And then, of course, when you lose hope, you get depressed and you start getting strung out on drugs. That's why the scripture also says. Uh, yes, no. I think it's in Proverbs. Just be patient with me, brothers. Proverbs 29 and 18. And it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Okay, so where there is no vision, where there is no dream, where there is no hope, just like it is here in America, all right, where the main reason why people were sold to come to this place is because you could fulfill the American dream. There was hope that you could thrive to be the best and the greatest that you could possibly be. You know, a land of opportunity, milk and honey. You could pull yourself up by the bootstraps and make something of yourself. As I said before, that whole that whole lifestyle is gone and these young 20 year olds are waking up to that fact that there is nothing left here in this country and it has them down it has them depressed and it has them strung out on drugs so even if by chance they do want to bust a nut or find a chick whatever you want to call it okay they so strung out on drugs hey they can't even get their manhood up and it says, well, there is no vision. The people perish. That's the whole premise of the video. Because these young people, men and women, don't have any type of hope whatsoever left in America. They're not reproducing. And because they're not reproducing, their race is dying off. It's beginning to perish. And it says, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Right. Because if... Everybody in America kept the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Everything will prosper. But because we're in Babylon the snake and everything is backwards, we have the opposite effect. Okay? We have uh, uh, death, lamentation, woes, misery. Okay, that's what we have here, here in Babylon the snake. And it's not going to get any better anytime soon. Actually, it's not going to get better at all. Forget anytime soon. It's just not going to get better at all. All right, and this is the reality that many of uh, you people in America have to accept, especially bad Uncle Esau. Your numbers are dwindling at an astronomical rate. No sex. Strung out on drugs. All right. Lacking all type of human interaction. Because you got this technology out here. You can be on your cell phone. You can be on Fortnite. You can be on a whole <laughs> lot of stuff. All right. Therefore, you're not <laughs> developing that, that, that ability to interact with people. So, hey. This is a beautiful thing because it only shows that the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is getting closer to the, his physical manifestation of delivering us out of this, this, this cesspool of wickedness. Okay, so uh, I believe I've said enough on this. You know, if you want to check out the rest of the video, mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. And so with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises mm -hmm. to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we want to say shalom.